making a movie. In the life of a director, it's um, you're constantly moving. There's a lot going on. You have to make sure everything is on track. You have to make sure the people are on track. And you just have to be constantly in contact with everybody. Communication is key in any production, in a lot of aspects of life as well. And uh, everybody has to be on the same page. A producer spends his day worrying about further shoots, locations, weather. Also, he wants all of the cast involved with specific shooting days to collaborate and get along. With any production where you get your hardships, um, you know, people get sick or uh, unable to make a shoot, especially in a low budget production. And um, you, sometimes you have to rewrite. I'll give you an example. What was written in the script, we wanted a little more female diversity. Uh, we wanted a, a female bartender. Unfortunately, when things didn't mesh well, we had to think quickly and how to replace this. And Eduardo was a very good sport and was able to accommodate our problem. And he turned it around for his first movie. I think it turned into a great product. In order to multitask doing different jobs on this film, I stand back from an objective point of view and focus on one at a time. So if there are rewrites necessary, then I focus on writing and what's going to help with the script. If I'm acting in a specific scene, I try not to worry about the production value. I just want to get inside of the head of the character I'm playing. So when I become feral, I'm fully immersed within this character and I'm not concerned about lighting or casting or anything else going around me. Blake and I had film classes at Kane University. You know, we enjoyed each other's company stories and things like that. And we had a lot of common interests. So when I told Blake I liked to act, it was just a hobby of mine. And he was generous enough to cast me in a film called Phalangia 3, which was a great student success. And one night out at a restaurant, Anthony basically just said, hey, I've got a script, an action drama, and we've got something good here. Now, if you want to take on a challenge, you know, uh, essentially a mercenary, I couldn't think of a better way to spend my summer, so I agreed to the project. Anthony is the assistant director as well as an actor, and the, he's a writer, and even myself, I'm a production coordinator, and I'm the director of the film. You have, you have to put on many hats, and you have to have your hands in everything, basically. As far as um, production costs and other things that are of that nature of the um, movie, um, a lot of our editing and equipment is done in-house. So we run on Final Cut Pro um, Studio. Also, we also run with original music conducted by uh, Tori and Roy. Editing is done by Anthony Baris, myself, also Dan Gregory. We probably have about 20, 25 people on the production. And as far as you might be an actor one day and you might be a, a crew member for uh, another day, for example, um, one of the new actors, uh, Max, was he plays the arms dealer leader. He was also a sound man. I've actually known Blake since uh, about 1990, 1991. We were friends back in kindergarten together. And then ever since then, we just had a budding friendship from there. And actually, he's my best friend. On my off days from being an actor, which is pretty much 363 days of the year, so the two days I'm acting and the other days I'm doing stuff, I'm actually a full-time student at Kane University. Plus, I am also working as a um, part-time supervisor at a, no, at a coffee shop. Working with... Blake Sawaski and Anthony Reese, oh, those are the two best people to ever work with. They're funny, they're full of energy, they keep things rolling. Um, they both love to keep their works very organized. Just to watch them do the filming process is mind-blowing. Who would ever thought that you had to go through so many things <laughs> just to film alone? And you have to be careful with sound. When I look at a film, and I'm casting for actors. I always have a couple actors in mind. But then you, when you do auditions, you get surprised. Like, OK, well, this guy or girl is great for the part. During the times when filmmaking is uh, and productions are either in development or pre-production, there's a lot of there's some leeway time. Uh, I'm a substitute teacher by uh, trade part time. I've, I worked at uh, Cotteret School District in the middle schools and the high school. I've also worked in Colonia Middle School, High School as well. 
And um, as far as the kids, it's very rewarding. I enjoy making a difference in each student's life. Besides working on the project, The Anim Live Become, I act in other films and I write uh, screenplays when I'm inspired to do so. So at the moment, I'm currently in production with another project called Burnt. It's an independent work. And I play the male lead in that specific production. In addition to that, I'm working on a couple of screenplays and I just bang them out as soon as I get those ideas in my head. When I see Blake work, I see, I can see frustration, but I can also see perseverance. I can also see a good work ethic in him. He knows what he's doing and he knows how to work around what he's doing. Sometimes I can catch him in those moments where he's not sure what he wants to do next, but then the next minute he's right there. He knows what he wants to do and he knows how to work around it. So I think Blake is kind of a mix of everything. Just to see their work come to life. I spot up there. I think we're on the fucking radar, man. I don't know what's going on. You sit back and say, wow, this is really like them. And that's a wrap. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. Work it.